confession time. When I was filling the photo black cartridges, I picked out the photo black, um, another bottle of photo black, to finish filling up. Except I didn't. I picked up the matte black. Matte black and photo black are not the same. Whoops. So these photo black cartridges are actually filled with the wrong ink, or at least a couple of them are, and the trouble is I have no way of knowing which is which. So I need to drain them, I need to flush them as best I can, and then refill them with the correct ink. Now I'm not going to give them a thorough clean with um, cleaning solution or the rest of it because quite frankly it's very rare that you'll actually have that available. So I'm going to use this as a teachable moment as to what to do when you mess up. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to eat humble pie and show you what's needed. Right, first things first, I'm going to grab my um, bottle of um, PGI, uh, sorry, PFI 300 Photo Black, because this one particular one is empty, and that's what I'm going to be using as my dump for this ink. So I'll get my 300. Well, these are PGI 9, obviously, but they've been filled with 300 ink, and it's the wrong one. So I'm going to drain that ink out like this. Just use the flush clip and the syringe and just pull it all out. What a waste. Frustrating, but again, it's a teachable moment. Yeah, I cock up too. <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing, but it, there you go. Human. Right, once you've pulled all the ink out, what you do is dump it into your dump bottle or container very carefully. I'm just going to do that here. That's all going to be thrown away, okay? You're not going to be reusing it. Reattach to the same cartridge, and again, pull out as much as humanly possible. Get a good negative, vac negative pressure on it. Hold that as much as feasible, and then release, okay? And again, dump that into the bottle. I'm going to repeat that for each of these three cartridges, so I'll probably cut ahead. Reattach. Oops. That's a good one. <laughs> that was also a teachable moment. If you attach your flush clip to your cartridge and there's a little bit of ink in here, sometimes it goes straight out. So sometimes it's actually better to attach your syringe first before reattaching your uh, clip to the cartridge. Okay. Okay, now, what you need to do now, these should have photo ink in, photo black ink in. So I'm going to move the matte blacks over there out of the way, okay? I'm going to get the photo black, photo black, see, see, you can, you can see it too. I, you know. Right, I'm going to do the cross cut on the foil, on the inside part of the foil, as I should have done, and... Right, the other thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to replace, because I've um, messed up with the cap and the needle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go and flush this out so that I don't have any remaining um, matte black in there. Um, not that it's going to make a huge difference, but I'm going to go and do that now. Oh, and uh, cap your bottle, your dump bottle, and go and get rid of that now. So you don't think it's actually photo black or anything else, okay? So I'm going to throw this away and wash this out be right back. That is washed out and reasonably dry. It won't be completely dry, but that won't matter because what we're going to do next is we're actually going to um, flush a little bit of ink into our cartridges using dribble fill just to try and dilute down the matte black that we put in there by mistake. And then what we can do is then remove all of that as well and get rid of it, okay? So um, I've given this a quick dry out and things so the water isn't polluting our ink. And I'm going to put our problematic cartridges on the scales. And I'm just gonna gently flush a little bit of ink. I'm gonna do that on all three. 
So this is photo black that's going in now. The stuff it should have been all along. But again, we do these things deliberately, <clears throat> honest, um, just to show you how to get yourself out of these situations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't believe me either. Right. Right, there's a reasonable amount of ink in there now. Okay, so. What I am going to do now is I am just going to gently clear up my mess. Should wipe the top of those, attach the flush clips to them, give them a really good shake. Okay, that ink will be in the sponge and everything else. And then I'm going to sit it down and repeat for the other two. If you wanted to be really sure, you could fill them. You could fill the cartridge up with cleaning solution, a mix of cleaning solution and deionized or distilled water. And you could pull all that out and then redo that about two or three times, then remove all of that. But you would still end up having to pour some of your ink in the correct ink into your cartridge, mixing it without water, keep pulling that out and doing that about two or three times. So to be brutally honest with you, I actually think you're better off just going straight to trying to dilute down using the correct ink. Um, you might want to do it two or three times, okay? So go like this. We've put a little bit of ink in. Um, I'm now going to pull it all out. I'm getting rid of it. Now I've thrown that bottle of ink away a bit early. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and grab it back out of the bin. So I'm gonna dump the last few bits should be just enough capacity in there. Nope, okay, that's some, um, because it's foamy and things, I need to take the clip off. Okay, live and learn, live and learn. Okay. So that's one. Move that out of the way. Rinse and repeat. Suck out as much of that as humanly possible, and then pop it off, move the clip, very gently dump that ink foam into your dump bottle. For the purposes of this particular video, that's all I'm going to do. You could repeat that three, four, five times, up to you. Um, but that's now diluted down sufficiently that I'm not really worried about it anymore. Okay. Now what you do is you refill each of these cartridges with the correct ink. And you will almost certainly spend the rest of your refilling time triple checking the ink. So there you go, that's, that's what you do if, like me, you manage to pick up the wrong ink and you put it into your, you know, one of the other cartridges. I mean, one of the other options you might have had, doesn't apply in this instance, but if you had started refilling your cleaned cartridges um, and I emphasis on clean, um, but if you started refilling your clean cartridges and then you suddenly realize what you'd done and you'd been consistent, as in you'd put matte black into clean photo black cartridges, then what you could do is just swap the chips over. So take your photo black chips off and put them on to that cartridge and swap them around and then refill the other ones, obviously marking them. But in this instance, I've, ma I've mixed matte black and photo black from my refill ink. So I've part filled with um, matte black and then I've taken another bottle which was the wrong one um, sorry with photo black first and then I used matte black by mistake learn from my mistake I'm a parent I'm allowed to do this <laughs> okay so there you go that's how to dig yourself out of that rather big hole right there you go so I'm going to now go and dump this so now I'm going to refill 
our photo black cartridges. Photo black. You do have an ink meniscus on of these already because we've done all that, so we don't need to do that step right now. Um, so I need my adapter for later. A flush clip. No, oh, flush clip is going to go on. Right. <clears throat> so force filling, attach. We've already dragged all the air out of these because we sucked all the extra ink out. Okay, I was about to connect my photo black directly to these cartridges and pump ink in, um, even though I've had to remove the incorrect ink that was put in there and the rest of it. I'm actually stopping myself. I think this is one of those times when it's actually a good idea for you to use your syringe as a middleman that you can clean out and start between each. The reason I'm saying that is because I don't want to get any lingering matte black from the cartridges into my photo black supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that technique I showed you earlier to use a syringe. A syringe, new one. Um, to get the ink from the bottle, put it into the cartridge, then empty this out clean it, sorry, empty it out. I'm only gonna use a certain amount of ink in the syringe. I'm then gonna go and clean it, and then I'm gonna fill it for the next one, and then I'm gonna clean it, and I'm gonna fill out the next one. That way, I don't put any ink from the cartridge back into my photo black supply and contaminate it, okay? So I'll show you what I mean by that. Just gonna put the adapter on, attach it to my bottle my squeezy cap, being very gentle. Turn it over and then I am only gonna pull out, I'm gonna only pull out about 13, 14 mil of ink. And then I'm gonna disconnect. That was on very, very light, okay. Attach my flush clip to the syringe. And then I'm going to fill my cartridge. Now I'm being very careful only to push. I'm going to put it directly up so any air is near the top and I'm going to stop just short. Okay, that's one. Now because I haven't drawn back on that at all, I'm confident that I can now reconnect to my ink supply and draw out another 13 mil. Disconnect again, <laughs> and this time I've actually only taken out 10. <sighs> right, let's get a bit more. Basically the bottle pulled back. So I'm gonna draw another 12, 13, turn it over while holding, locking that plunger. Attach my flush clip. Now that's the one we've already done. touch the flush clip to the cartridge. And again, this time I am literally just pushing. I'm not pulling back. I'm being very careful not to pull back on that plunger. And get to there, disconnect. Because the cartridge is a bag, has a bag in it, there is no negative pressure. With the bottle, if I was filling directly from the bottle directly into the cartridge, as you've seen, when I when I try and take ink out of the bottle, watch what happens. You f you see the bottle. You see the bottle um, distend like that. Okay. Right. So there is negative pressure. And if I allow it to, I let go of the syringe and it pulls the plunger back in and pulls the ink back into the bottle. So if I tried to directly connect this to the cartridge, I would be pulling ink back into it 
along with some of that incorrect ink, what little remains, and I just want to be sure. So I'm pulling in 12, 13 mil, just turning it over. Okay, so that's why I'm using the syringe with the cartridge. It's the bottle that will pull back, a syringe that won't have negative pressure on it. Nearly did it. Connect my cartridge, sorry, my flush clip to the syringe, and then there. And again, we're going to put our 12 mil into the cartridge without pulling back. There we go. Stop. Release. Okay. Now, because I haven't pulled back on this syringe and I haven't pulled any of that ink back out of the cartridge, I can now dump the tiny amount that I've got left back into the bottle. You don't have to. If you've made a slight error and you've pulled back on your syringe or whatever in this particular scenario, you can just go and dump that little bit into a, a bit of kitchen towel or, or some other container to dispose of. So it's up to you. Okay. But in this particular instance, I, I know because I'm hyper vigilant now that I haven't messed up again, not yet. Um, and I can actually do it this way. Right, let's just do that. Now, next thing for me to do, I'm going to be um, cleaning all of that lot up um, later on. But for the moment, what I need to do, taking the adapter off my bottle, and it is still the right black, reattaching my needle. And then all I'm going to do is finish these cartridges off with the dribble fill method. as before. Oh, I messed up there. Tuck. So I tarry it so I can see exactly how much is going in. And it's going quite nicely. So there's nothing really clogged up. It's just like I said, that that contamination from the, the, the wrong ink incredibly dumb thing to do, but so easy to do. Um, I know I'm not alone in this, and neither are you. It's very easy to assume that somebody doing a YouTube video is an expert. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't ascribe to the idea of me being an expert. I just describe to me being somebody who's made lots of mistakes and has worked out how to dig himself out of them. Oh dear. Right, I think that's pretty much full. Yeah, that's as full as I want to get it. Okay, so I'm going to use my bit of kitchen towel just to rub that clean. Just give my thing a bit of a rub clean as well. And the cap on. That is now filled with the correct ink. Genius. Clever me. Okay, so we're going to top up those other three, other two, sorry, and get finished up. So there you go. That is the Photo Blacks filled using force fill with a syringe just to isolate that bottle and then topped up using the dribble fill method. So hopefully that how to get out of <laughs> how to get out of trouble, how to get yourself out of a mistake, hopefully that's been useful. I probably will do that as a separate video. Um, so if you found that useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're laughing, feel free to use the comments to tell me how dumb I, I am. I will, um, I will store that away for the time that you come back with your tail between your legs, <laughs> having done exactly the same thing. <laughs>